Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to discuss some important equivalences. These are the four important equivalences and we can uh, check the equivalences one by one quickly. So I will just show you the first table. So first proposition P is true uh, or false in the table of the T. I will write true both. So the first thing is P and T. So P and T is uh, true and true is true false and true is false so we observe that the first column and the third column are same so this means that the first equivalence that i have uh, written is uh, true means it is correct similarly all the th four uh, other remaining three propositions are also correct now let us go to the next uh, two important uh, propositions we are saying p and p is always equivalent to p P or P is also equivalent to P. So for example, what is the proposition P? P is T and F. The same value will be of T and F. And when I write P and P, then I will observe that P and P is also true and false. So this means that P and P and P both are equivalent. So that is correct. Similarly, when I write P and P or P here, P or P will also be, let me write true, false. P also is true, false and true or true is true, false or false is false. So this means that P or P is also equivalent to the same uh, statement P or P, okay? Now uh, let us go to the next uh, two important equivalences. So the first is uh, write the equivalent proposition of P or negation P, P and uh, second is write the equivalent statement for P and negation p so we will do the first part now the first part is p so i will write t f the proposition has only two values then i will write down negation p here so negation p will be true negation is false and false negation is true and then i will write p or negation p now what is p or negation p true or false is true and false or true is also true so looking from this table we can now say that p or negation p is equivalent to t means it is a tautology so p or negation p is a tautology if i look for p and negation p so p has two values t true and false negation p has values false and true and when i calculate p and negation p then true and false will be false and false and true will also be false so from this i conclude that this is equivalent to f means all the all the rows are having f in this case it is called what it is a contradiction. So remember these two results that P or negation P is a tautology. P and negation P is a contradiction. Now we will go to some uh, some a list of equivalences and we will name them so that whenever we have to use them, we can quickly write the name. So the next question is guess or name the logical equivalences of the following so the first is p or q now p or q is equivalent to which uh, proposition p or q is equivalent if you calculate p or q and if you calculate p q or p so both of them will have the same values so p or q is nothing but the same as q or p so you can change the order similarly if i write p and q you can also write it the same as what you can write it as same as q and p so the table of p or q will be the same as table of q or p right so that's why they are equivalent and what is this called these two equivalents this is, is this property is called commutativity so whenever i say commutative it means you can change the order so this is the name of this property commutativity the second one is uh, this 
P and Q and R. P and Q and R. Instead of doing this way, I will first do P. So, so when I'm looking at this particular part, I will calculate in the truth table. I will first calculate what is Q and R, and then I will combine it with P with that column. Okay, but but it is the same as if you do P and Q first, and then you join with the column R. So you can change the brackets. Okay, you know that. Uh, you know that a plus b plus c is uh, the same as a plus b plus c. We are, we can change the brackets, so, right? So so in that fashion, we have your p and q and r is the same as p and q and r. Also, if you have or in that uh, in between the uh, statements p q r, you can even still change the bra bracket. So it is p or q or r. Remember the same. Logical operator is used here, and 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 is your here, or and or is used. There is no mixture there. Okay, right. If if it gets mixed, then it is not so easy to do. So this change of brackets allowed this property is will now be called as what will now be called as henceforward. I'm going to say associativity. Associativity. Okay. The next important uh, thing is uh, very simple. If I take the negative of a statement and again take the negative of the statement, I will get the original statement back. So negation of negation p will be equivalent to which statement? It will be equivalent to the original statement p. It is same like minus of three with minus will give me three back. So this is this property is called as double negation. Double negation. I'm labeling this properties. The next is uh, now I will mix the operators. Now when I mix the operators, now here you see carefully, you have P, here you have OR, and here you have AND. Now you cannot uh, change the bracket. So this is not allowed. What I'm writing in this fashion, if you do, first I will do P or Q, and then I will do R. So this is wrong. You cannot change the brackets. You associativity means you can change the brackets only if all the operators are of the same type. Either everybody should be and, either everybody should be or. Right. So this means that I have to use some advanced rule here. So which gives me what? In this case, it will give me. See, it is something like this. It is a into b plus or c. How do you write a into b plus c? You write it as a into b plus a into c. This is how you write. So this person with this person, and okay, then plus this sign, and then this person with this person. This pro this property is called was what? This property is called as distributivity. Okay, so what will I write here? P or Q and P or R. Correct. Similarly, you can have the signs interchange. You can have this also P and Q R R. Same logic. P and Q or P and R. Okay, this thing is called as distributivity. Okay, so these are the uh, some of the important equivalences. Let's let's move ahead. The next is negation of P or Q. What is negation of P or Q? It is as good as asking me what is neg. What is the complement of negation? I'm using as complement of P A or B. What is the complement? What is the complement of A union B? It is A complement intersection B complement. So that is like your De Morgan's law, right? So it is negation P and negation Q. The next one is what is negation of P and Q, what is the complement of A intersection B? The complement of A intersection B is A complement union B complement. The intersection will get converted into union. So this is negation P or negation Q. And what is what are these two rules called? Obviously, these two rules are called De Morgan's law. Okay. The next 
two important properties again we have is p and t is equivalent to p now you if you see at the very starting of this lecture i have told you these truth tables also p and t we calculated to do to be p and p or f was also coming up to be p so here if you see here no matter what this is true or false okay the p is again is again retrieved back okay and that is uh, that is therefore called as what this is called as identity law means true and false will do nothing to that p and these two laws are called ident we have checked these properties okay in the very initial part of this lecture identity laws but sometimes you get that p or t p and f they come up to be true and false now you do not get here p and p again in this case we say that this tautology has dominated the statement and it has given you p in this case you will say this false statement has dominated the entire statement and it has finally giving you the conclusion is f and this is the reason these two laws are named as domination laws domination laws the next two statements which we have done again in the in, in the lecture just now is what is p and p p and p comes up to be p p or p also comes up to be p these two laws we have just now checked these two laws are called idempotent laws remember you have to memorize these names of laws because we are going to use them and the next is we also have calculated that p or negation p comes up to be tautology and we also have found out that p and negation p comes out to be a contradiction this is also discussed just now and these two laws are called negation laws okay so